Hello everyone and thank you for joining me here. My name of course is Mr. Mocha Lover and let's continue playing as a new California Republic. Last time we took out the Rapids. Great country to annex into our uh, our own country. Right now we are preparing for a war with the Mojave Raiders and we are going to have a great, great time. So I'm quite literally picking up where we left off last time pretty much immediately. So let's see we got a total of 18,000 people within our military. And finally, there goes dead horses. Crazy horses look kind of crazy. What is the Pecos colonists? Pecos is over here. I just want to keep an eye on whatever. Crossing the Rubicon, wow. Just keeping an eye on the Kaiser's Legion. Yeah. Purpose for Pecos. You must own former states of Pecos colony to gain an effect. Assimilate the people. Oh, oh, they can court stuff. Oh, that's kind of crazy to think about. Honor the steel breakers. Smoke them. Oh, Mojave chapter. Oh, man, they get a lot of cores. Man, I should play Kaiser's Legion. This looks really cool. White legs petition. Reward the loyal tribe. Calling upon the nomads. Oh, my goodness. Oh, oh, there's all oh, legendary. Legionary Utah. Oh, my God, I should have played Kaiser's Legion. Nova Roma, Roma moves capital to New Vegas. Oh my gosh! To crown a new Augustus, the Immortal Empire. Oh my god! I have to play this again sometime and uh, do this. Where is their tree though? That oh they oh they could go with Praetorian Guard. Ooh, that, actually yeah, that's pretty reducing for manpower. But I mean um, that's pretty nice. That's okay. Maybe not great. But, uh, where is the war against me? That's what I, that's what I want to know. <clears throat> oh, war for Hoover Dam, of course. It has, I have to control, I have to control it. Alright, so if I own, where is Hoover Dam? If I own Hoover Dam, that must be, oh, it's right here. If I own this, then it's go time with Kaiser's Legion, basically. Right, it's October 6th. 6th. Uh, let's see. Basic energy weapons. Uh, I think we're all going to go with the regular tried and true stuff. Down here. Still can't do that. So, let's see. Support companies. Oh, logistics. I want logistic companies so bad. Aircraft. Oh, savaged bomber. Nuke. Wow, you go from a salvaged bomber all the way to a nuclear super fortress. What the heck? That's insanely quick. Cargo Zeppelin. Nuclear, nuclear. But then again, this is a Fallout world, so... What else do you expect? Um, research speed. 2% isn't great to do it ahead of time. Power do I need foundries? Or do I need basic generators? That's a good thing to ask. Uh, no, we're good on that. We're good on that. So no, I don't, need, don't really need those. I will eventually need some advanced technology. As well as some electronics. 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 Um, I'll just do that for now. Right now, we're trying to get up to Mojave subjugation, so we can go to war with the Mojave Raiders. So you guys can stop training for now and prepare yourself. Get a little more entrenched and get ready for. Ooh, someone got sick. Oh, good. Good job, man. Good job. Yeah, good. Just get ready for war. Right now, our Rangers are doing pretty well. Twenty combat width. Initiative's pretty nice. Oh, they have a signal company in them. Oh, that's kind of nice. Experience loss goes down. I did add on the chemical factory, chemical company for them, so that's not too bad either. Oh, we have free civilian factories. Nice. So, we're going to continue expanding our military to the best of our abilities. Um, 20, that's a lot of 20% infrastructure all around this area. Not really ideal. What is, what is that? Blue thing? Oh, w water. Of course, it would be water. Uh, actually, we could probably use some air support around here. Go ahead and make two for that. Yeah, other than that, that, that looks pretty good. I actually might increase infrastructure in certain places. Now, where can we expand? Where would be a good place to expand our factories? Oh, down here. Los Algodonos, which we took from the rapids last time. That would actually probably be a really good place to build up some factories. So, let's go ahead and do that. Oh, we get some more scrap and some 
jars of something. Fuel. Yeah, we get more fuel. Probably a little bit more metal. Nice. Good, good, good. We have a plan. We have a plan. Factories isn't too bad. How many factories does Kaiser's Legion have? They have up to 54, 18, 54. So they probably have about the same as us. Maybe just slightly less. So that's good to know. Yeah, these guys shouldn't be too hard to take out. But of course, not everything goes the way you want it to. Less division training time, more population, more democracy. All right, old world wall. I still want to get to Beacon of Democracy so we can get to civilian economy. That would really probably help us out at least a little bit. Let's go ahead and develop basic power armor. That sounds like fun. All right, guys. Go ahead and do what you need to do. Everyone attack searchlight together. All right, actually, forgot about the planes here. You guys can stop doing whatever you need to do. Oh, yeah, I actually have a total of 68 planes. Oh, nice, nice. So we got these guys back. So... Equipment scavengers return. Now, I'm going to only read this like once or twice just because this is going to be a continuous thing throughout the entire game, but our scavengers have returned from their mission and managed to retrieve a host of useful equipment and spare parts. Their findings will surely help out with equipping our men in the battlefield, ensuring our victory if and when it comes down to war. Now, our men need some time to recover and a plan for a new scavenging mission to, for equipment by this means. Whilst they do this, <clears throat> we can still send them out for something different or by different means. So, we get 36 things of pistols. Manpower back, 39 things of scrap motorcycles, and a 10% bonus for slashing melee, dynamite, basic energy, weaponry, and service rifles. That's actually not bad. Very cool. Let's see. Mm, stability, seize on patriotism. That wasn't bad at all. I really like that. Search for robots. I'm not really using robots. I don't think that would give you power armor, but equipment wasn't bad. Vehicles. We've tried that before. It didn't really work out for us super well. But let's try it again. Alright, and we are obviously doing pretty darn well already. Go and take Cottonwood Cove. That would probably be very good for us. Very nice. Very nice. Only 65% world tension, even though it's just American tension. Whatever. Uh, go ahead and help these guys out as well. And they're gone. Nice. Yeah, these guys. Not too bad. Not too bad. Alright, let everyone get situated where they need to be. We need some more support equipment. Pretty typical. Pretty typical stuff. They suffered a lot of casualties already. Awesome. Airbase is almost done, but, but by the time this is done, like, we'll be done with the war probably. Honestly, at this point, just go ahead. I mean... Oh wait, you probably need orders. Get to Nelson, guys. Very nice. And we are next to the Mojave Brotherhood. Ooh. These are intellectual people from the Brotherhood of Steel. Ooh. Paladin Founders. If I go to war with these guys, that's a really good output. Div division Defense on Core Territory. Wow. If I go to war with these guys, does that mean I'm at war with these guys over here at the Western Brotherhood? Because these are just the Mojave chapter. Ooh, actually, we probably need to stop attacks here. They're, Hanlon's learning stuff, but... Oh, actually, Nelson's their capital. Not bad. Cyclops, tribes, glad we're on esports. So be it, whatever. Go ahead and stop as well. We need to kind of reorganize ourselves. So, Hanlon, come over here. Do that. You guys, come over here. And do this. I want to get to Vault 3. Ooh, and New Vegas. Oh. Anti-armor tactics. Cool. Uh, next up, we get a little bit more supply use, which sucks. And then army supply use goes down, though. So that's not too bad. That just doesn't make sense. Why do militiamen have to use more supply now? Nice. Yeah, let them attack us. Oh, they actually might win here. Send the rangers back up north. Don't worry about the supply. And, nice, we got the base. Now we can actually use some air superiority up here. Good. This will help out. Oh, and they declared one pickles colony. They actually pushed us out, but now we actually have air support, so. Not too worried about that. Casualties, 300. New Reno. New Reno. Where's that? New Reno. 
Oh, hello there. Wait, when did we... When did you come about? What? Um, I like it that I got a new ally. I don't know where you came from. And if you're my ally, I mean, cool. They went white pawn to e4. Is this a chess game or something? Queen to f7? American PMC. Sanctuary City. Silver Rush. Did they have a decision to ally with me? Because I don't remember allying with them. The Roaring Bears. I mean, regardless. That's really cool. Caps for loyalty. Okay, well. Alright, I mean... I mean, they're not very strong. But... Okay. Cool. I dig it. Could you guys... Yeah, see if you guys can actually push up through. Give us a little more experience, a little more army XP. We got a little bit more we can do with this. Material designer, um, just go with guns probably. That's usually what I do. A little less speed, but a little more armor. Nice. It's a bit of a trade off. Supply use. That's a, just a tiny bit ahead of time. 20, 20, 2287, 78 tech, 78 tech. Recruitable population. Cap and growth. I'm gonna go with... Ooh, 154 days. That's just one more day. Who cares? I want as much growth as fast as possible, so... Nice. We're having a good time in Good Springs. Ah, oh, I remember playing in Good Springs. Good times. Oh, and that's all I had to do. I didn't even have to take Nelson. Nice. Thank you very much. I appreciate your contributions. Go ahead and stop. If anything, actually, go ahead and do some uh, piloting exercises. That sounds like fun. And that was maybe a little bit too quick for my tastes. Stage incident at Sloan Border. So, Mojave Chapter incident at Sloan Border. Escalate border conflict with Mojave Chapter. So, this sounds like... What is this? Actually, hold on first. What is this? Scavenging decisions. Oh. Oh, whatever. Cool. Oh, wait. Do I still have that? Hide standard missions? Well, don't hide any of them. I just want to see both. Now, I'm kind of worried about this. With the this Mojave chapter. If I go to war with these guys, does that mean I have to go to war with the Western Brotherhood? That is something I don't know. And I, like I said, I'm worried about. But that's really the only thing that we can do for the time being. Especially in terms of our focus. Our focus is. The Old World Wall. This will get us to the... Hoover Dam. I don't want to get there yet because the Kaiser's Legion, as far as I know, won't declare war on me until I have the wall. So. Hmm. Founding Fort Aradesh. Founding the River, river Patrol. Protégé. Assault on Hoover Dam. Barons of the NCR. Mayoral victory speech. Yeah, there's, there's really nothing else I can do until we get to 100% world tension, so... For right now, though, um, Hanlon, you did a great job. Go ahead and surround these guys. They don't have a lot of guys around here. So I'm going to say we're probably going to attack this position where this guy's power armor is at Route 95. This little tile right here. We'll do that just in case. Have a good time with them. And we will stage an incident. But, in preparation for that, just in case... Oh man, there's so much land I have to guard against these guys. Huh. Um, it should be okay if I do this here. No divisions, huh? There you go. You guys will be over there. Actually, I'm going to put you on a new thing for now. Give me the four of you guys over here. And then, so there's one, two, three things that we got to do over here. Four divisions really isn't enough to hold anything. So, Cassandra Moore, I'm going to need you divided up as well. So, nice, just the companies. Put you down here for now. Give me about half. 
do that just in case you never know what might happen and put the other half over here all right bonus to research Ooh, more anti-tank piercing machine gun support and defense yeah let's get that that sounds pretty good I was gonna need a lot of divisions to guard this area that sucks experimental armor nice very nice fortify the capital um, 35 days, 60 days. I want the, I want this. Scavenging for vehicles. Deploy the experimental PA troopers. Spawns two power armor units in sandy or shady sands. <clears throat> cool. So we got two NCR heavy troopers. 12 combat width. Some salvage power armor. Nice. They're not extremely great, but they'll have to do. Go and throw them on here. I know it's probably a terrible thing to do, but right now, that's all we can do. Six divisions are going to have to hold out against this entire horde over here. Western Brotherhood is pretty strong. Yeah, a lot, quite a bit of manpower divisions. Obviously, they're probably using a lot of uh, power armor, so they have a lot of armor themselves. So uh, They are allied with... Arroyo. Where's that? Oh, it's up here. So, if we attack the Mojave chapter, <clears throat> nothing should happen, right? Right? <laughs> and we will go with stage incident down there, so. Nice. Primitive, primitive radio. Jolly good. Doing that. Production efficiency cap and growth. It looks like they don't have a lot of divisions down here in the Mojave chapter. Flesh before steel. Yeah, they got six divisions, so we can actually probably just push in and take whatever we need. <clears throat> it's very interesting to see, look, at all the resources they have. Oh my gosh. Yes. Empowerment. The Emporium of Armament. <clears throat> Rangers gotta love them. Love them, love them, love them. Eh, I can probably get rid of that group. NCR Heavy Troopers. I want you to add on. This probably won't affect you very much. Recon, of course. Mach machine gun support, definitely. Probably logistics, since you were probably going to be pretty weighty, anyways. These are infantry? Yeah, they are. <clears throat> Excuse me. I'm going to need at least one more of those guys on there. Yeah, go ahead and start making a little bit of power armor as well. That could be pretty nice. Cool. Awesome. Do that. Alright, so, still making a little bit more military factories, some more civilian factories. That's fine for now. Fine for now. Um, when we do go to war with Kaiser's Legion, we're probably eventually going to need a few outposts. Is there anywhere else we touch them? Uh, over here? No. Nelson's not connected. That's good. Alright, let's go ahead and stage an incident. Ooh. But if this puts us at war with the Western Brotherhood, you're probably never going to see this video. Pharaohs are clip. Pharaohs? Martaz? Pharaohs? Every time it's a, it's a country I don't know about, um, I always just look north. <clears throat> if you can't already tell, let's see. Ooh, ooh, more infantry. Oh, 12 more. Oh, yeah, we could definitely use you right now. Um, you know what? You guys could probably come over here. Do that. Send these guys down to here instead. Take you guys. Oh, actually. Just combine them into one massive army. Ooh, scavenging vehicle comes back. 36 things of pistols, manpower, and we get 30 units of United States of America scrap motorcycle, salvaged motorcycles, and 10% research bonus for a scavenged, salvaged car. A very nice. That's very nice. Very, very nice. Love it. Roll out technology to scavengers, huh? 
unlocks power armor scavenging decisions and motorized scavenging decisions. <clears throat> That's actually going kind of nice. Um, you know what? We've got the time. We can do it for right now. Let's go escalate the war a little bit more and more and more. Definitely want more manpower. Emporium of Armaments. Ooh, Area 51. Is it time to storm this? Sky Reavers. Man, is that the best you can look? You got Area 51. You're fighting the White Legs. Oh. They're elites. Elders? Skirmish line? Oh, they got more manpower than you. The War Chief, River Gods, oh. Shamans. They're raiders, aren't they? Tribal Nation, whatever. Alright, well, whatever. Extra division going through on here. Oh, I forgot that I left this line completely undefended. That's not good. So you will have the task of doing this. So these guys are should be decent enough. Um, yeah, I could use another general. Oh, Joe O'Malley, why do you have to be an old guard unit man? Ah, uh, why? Throw them under there. Put you in the hub. Cool. All right, so we staged an incident. Escalate the chapter. Is in a faction. Activate escalate progress. No progress and Sloan. They're in my way. Let's escalate it. Oh, you're down here. We probably. Oh, we can kind of. Oh, we can't pierce them anymore. Ah. Uh, Defeat and Prim, lose a little bit of political power. They get a lot of political power and a bonus to the land doctrine. I just want to go to war with a man. 78% world tension. Fear factor 1. Should have used my rangers for that. Oh well, things happen. Trickle back. Can we do anything for infantry? Oh yeah, we can. Weapon modifications. Power weaponry. Ooh. I would say... Oh, let's get 3% more defense and whatnot. Scavenging options. Be oh! Oh, no, 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 no. This is not good. There's no there's no misunderstanding within the NCR as to which border is the weakest. For the northern lands of the NCR hasn't seen large-scale military action or involvement since the NCR's 80s war almost 10 years ago. It was during this time which many vulnerabilities within the NCR became clear, not the least of which was a substantial time it take for the NCR to mobilize and move its military north. When faced with the realization that the NCR's military was largely incapable of protecting or patrolling the rural northern reaches of the nation, the many influential and wealthy Brahmin barons took to protecting their own property with private military forces. Dozens and sometimes hundreds of mercenaries being paid to patrol access, or acres, of grazing land and to fight off rustlers. While initially harmless, the situation has grown more and more dangerous in recent years as barons have taken to engaging in endless skirmishes with one another for land Brahmin while using their political clout to keep law local law enforcement off their backs. And yet something has happened that no one or no amount of clout can hide. The Poker family, <clears throat> a group of barons past their prime, openly murdered their prime rivals on the streets of Sacramento in a gunfight involving no fewer than 50 men and resulted in numerous civilian casualties. This event has ignited a powder keg of infighting among the barons, who now sent thousands of mercenaries to raid each other's holdings in the countryside and in various towns. Dozens of civilians have died, and an unprecedented amount of various property damage has been dealt. What's more, the flow of food to the densely populated urban regions of the NCR has all but stopped. This is a disaster that must be brought under control before starvation sets in. Oh my gosh. Oh no. Oh. Guys, I just wanted to go to war. Do they... Actually, does this faction get a call to arms, like, to the Western Brotherhood? Retaking Helios 1. Oh. Is your trade? Treaty of Sloan. Um, oh. Murta, where are you? Seriously? <clears throat> You're so far north, I can't even reach you, man. So, this is a colony state now. Baron's Republic. Well, it looks like, as much as I want to do this central stuff, I'm going to have to do the Barons of the NCR. Or something like that. Long road home. Unless I have decisions I can do. Crime in the hub. Um, the Emergency Council. Oh, that actually starts very... Oh, five days, diplomatic mission. Oh, the Emergency Council is for this stuff. Okay. Exodus of Wealth. Military... Oh. Democracy. 
I get out outposts. All right, so barons, war support, more construction speed. The Baron of Barons, siege of Poker's Ranch, remove Baron buyout, lose manpower. Western Brotherhood, give the NCR military access. The Brahmin Bill, more stability, more oh, more monthly population. This would actually all is good, having alliance with those guys. But I want more monthly population. Civilians. Um, honestly, I'm probably gonna have to go with lose three civilian workshops. I want that monthly population. Civilians okay. Yeah, I want that monthly population, man. Um, all is good. Gamble worked. Brotherhood of Steel. Ooh, that's actually really tough. Do I go with diplomatic mission or exodus of wealth? NCR buyout's okay. I mean, it's not great. Hmm. 77% world tension. Can't really do much against the what approaches over here. Can I go to a war with Vault 13? Ah, oh, a bunch of fiends are over there. Typical. Um, Murtaugh. Yeah, they're not doing too badly themselves. Oh, we need at least 50 things as guns. Oh, we need more guns. Oh, God, no. Oh, God, no. There we go. Keep making lots and lots and lots and lots of guns. Carson City. Vault City was annexed. Wait, Vault City was annexed. Wait, what? Um, Nellis Airfield Base. Alright, come on. Finish up with the bazaar. It's taking too long for me. It's taking too long. 58, 59, and 60. There we go. Emergency Council. Can I actually send you soldiers? Like volunteers or something? Oh, actually, I might be able to. I mean, we could. That might make us like them a little bit more. We can send them two divisions. Um, I can send them two divisions of rangers. Where are you guys at? There are only three divisions. Yeah, give me... We'll send somebody their way. Julian Stevens. Maybe get us a little bit more experience. Oh, we could af definitely use our air force if they had a plane base. They have a plane base. Nice. All right, you guys can stop training. I can send twenty of them. Well, something tells me that odds are they can't really afford too much. So I'm going to actually send ten and ten. There we go. Go and do that when you get down here. That would be lovely. And let's see what's going on down here. So, they're just defending. Oh well, that's fine. Fight to faction, Murtaugh. Stage at the Sloan border. Mm, Brahmin milking. Ah, oh, I love milking my Brahmin. Engineering. Reinforce rate. Oh, get more research speed, that'd be good. Since it happened over here last time, I'm going to actually put you over here, too. Just in case. And then we're going to try it again. Awesome. The Emergency Council. So, the situation in the North has thrown the entire NCR into chaos, and dozens are dying each day. There's only so much that can be done on short notice, and even as troops are being shipped north. In an attempt to bring an end to the chaos, many powerful NCR politicians and military commanders have formed an emergency council to handle the situation. Yet even now, the council has fallen into infighting with the two most powerful politicians or political figures present. Anton I, Flynn, and... Oh no. Anton I, Flynn, and Sean, all good Murphy, clashing during every encounter. Flynn believes that the easiest method of dealing with the situation is to simply hire the mercenaries employed by all the barons and to redistribute the land of the more violent barons to the loyal ones, such as himself. Murphy Howard believes that this is simply a power play on Flynn's part and thinks the answer lies with outside help, namely the Brotherhood of Steel who used to patrol and protect the region. The military commanders pre present aren't fond of either plan and even now consider ignoring the council to take decisive action. This will be the last thing we do for this video. 
Oh no, democracy. Um, I really want that monthly population. Mojave chapter. New patrol. Oh my goodness. Western Brotherhood gets stuff. Diplomatic mission. Exodus of wealth. I, I need that monthly population probably. I don't get very much. So we're going to go with military intervened. Cool. And we're going to do that. And that will be the conclusion of today's episode. So thank you very much for watching guys. Tomorrow we will try again. Start a fight down here in the Mojave chapter. Um, and hopefully finish the emergency problems that are happening up here in the north part of California. Which there always be seem, seems to be problems in California. Regardless, thanks for watching. Leave a like if you liked the video. Subscribe if you're new. And I will see you tomorrow. About same time, same place. Thanks for watching.